hey, how are you today? Uh, I'm in my farm. You know, I'm always here. And, um, you know, I, I like it here. I'm an artist also. I, I'm a singer. And you know what? Most of the times, I get my inspiration to write my songs here. It's, it's, it's wonderful for me. And um, as a catfish farmer, uh, being in my farm all the time also helps me to come up with uh, great innovations and ideas on how to move the business forward. Because in every business, you must have ideas and innovations being pumped into the business as you go on. It helps to increase the business. A business without ideas being planted into it is like a soil that seed is not put you know, in. Nothing comes out. Nothing comes out. So ideas. Staying here gives me great ideas, you know, um, all the time. And it's, it's, it's wonderful. Uh, I always tell people, look, catfish farming is lucrative. There is no doubt about that. But it's not like you're going to get all the millions in the world. But it pays the bills. It helps to put you on a salary and... Depending on how big your farm is, it puts um, quite a number of people on salary too, because the demand for catfish is always there. It's always there. As a matter of fact, the demand is there, but you know, farmers are not meeting the demand because the demand is quite high. So it's it's a lucrative business, you know. But there are things that um, you must have to consider for it to be lucrative. You must know them for your business to be lucrative. So for cartridge farming to be, lucra to be lucrative, you must know these things. So I say cartridge farming is lucrative if you know all the aspects of the business. There are two very important aspects of catfish farming, and that is the breeding aspect and the business aspect of catfish farming. A lot of catfish farmers understand the breeding aspect, but they have no clue about the business aspect of, uh, of catfish. Some farmers don't even have any experience at all about the breeding part. And then some do, but they do not have any idea of the business aspect. The business aspect, con um, you know, um, is uh, comprised of having to know the market. You must know the market of your business, how the market is, when the market goes up, when the market goes down. You know, there's fluctuation in catfish farming also when it comes to sales. You must understand um, the buying power of consumers. You must understand the um, times when the the you know fish is scarce, times when fish is everywhere, because this will help you. Like you know, sometimes when fish is scarce, you sell much much better than when fish is everywhere. So you must understand when it is scarce and when it's everywhere when it is everywhere you know and if you have um, people informing you about when it is scarce and when it is um, you know everywhere you'll be able to keep your fish when it is everywhere and wait till it is scarce because the time frame between when it is everywhere and when it is scarce is not usually too long so if you are able to keep it until when it is scarce you are going to make more money it's not like you are not going to make money when it's everywhere but you're going to make more money when it is scarce you have to understand these little little things to be able to get you know uh, maximize your profit now to be able to know when it is everywhere and when it is scarce you have to have scouts people who are around that you pay little little money you know and then they give you information you pick up your phone and you call them and say hey what's happening and they tell you most most of the times the people um, you have to keep um, who know these things are people who are into the business 
trusted women who are selling, middle, middle women who come to buy from your farm and sell to the end users. And then, um, you know, you have that uh, information from them all the time. You seek to know that all the time when, uh, when uh, to sell or when to hold back. But I have to tell you this, if you can't hold back, that is to say you, don't have, you do not have capital to keep feeding your fishes until there is scarcity in the market. You can sell as long as your fish has reached the period to sell. This brings me to another point here. If you are doing table size, you must sell when your fishes have gotten to at least 70% one kg. If you sell anything less than that, you might lose or you might not make enough profit. So it is best you sell when you have 70% of um, one kg fish. This is the business aspect also. Some people will just want to sell. No, it is not good to sell at such a time. Sell when you have 70% of one kg and above. You, that is what I'm saying is when your stock you have in the farm has gotten up to the point of 70%, of one kg and above then you can sell the rest 30 percent it doesn't matter you still make a um, good profit but if you sell anything less than 70 when it is um not 70 percent say about 40 percent 30 percent and all that you lose you might you might not even make your capital you know you must understand these little little things um, here and there also you must understand that the people who are buying who are coming to buy you have to be on ground to make sure that you take charge. That's the business aspect of catfish farming. When you leave the women to sell on their own, they will cheat you a lot. So you must be on ground to make sure that you, um, you, you coordinate your sales, okay? And then you must understand the price at every point in time. Supposing they are selling one kg fish for about 700 naira and you don't know. Those women will come and tell you that they, 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 they are buying it 600 naira. You sell because you don't know. So, to understand the business aspect of catfish, you must be, you must have your ears to the ground to know how much um, the fish, uh, if, uh, a kg fish or 800 grams or thereabout, how much is going for, so that you know what to do when the time comes, you know, to sell. You must understand this game. There's a lot of game in catfish farming. I'm not, I won't be able to say all now, but you must understand the game. Understanding the game in catfish farming is understanding the business aspect of uh, catfish farming. Okay, so you, you know the breeding. Breeding, to some people, they think um, breeding is just to um, have a tank, put water, and put fish in it. No, that's not what it is. There's a lot of things that are. Um, into breeding you know to make your catfish grow faster i can't say much now don't have enough time but you must have to change your water regularly i've been saying this over and over in my videos you have to understand that when water is properly oxygenated it helps the catfishes to grow it helps them to eat more and digest faster and eat more so it helps them to grow okay so you must have to change your water daily and your uh water water hp must be very good try to check your water with the hp level is good so that um you know your catfish can grow um, faster you have to understand timing of feeding timing i'm going to be taking timing of feeding in another video timing of feeding very very important when to give um, one mm, when to give two mm, when to cross over, cross over to three mm, and so on and so forth. When to stop, you know how to, you know, um, you know, stop giving one particular size and switch over to the next size. You must know that because if you don't understand the timing, it's going to cost you a lot of money. Take for instance, your fishes have gotten to three mm and you're still giving them two mm. They'll be drinking the feed and then you'll be spending more money, you know, and that can result um, into loss, a lot of a, a big loss for you. So you must understand timing and all that. Timing when to shift your fishes as you breed them, shift them from one tank to the next tank. Timing when to sort, timing when to, you know, separate them, the sizes in the tank and all that. This will help you a great deal. So, like I said, maybe in my next video, I'll be taking timing of feeding and timing of um, sorting and, and so on and so forth to help uh, farmers, you know. Um, secondly, uh, 
in this business, you must have to give your time. Catfish farming takes your time. It takes your energy. And you must be ready to willingly sacrifice it for your business to grow. There are some people who start the catfish business and then they hand it over to somebody. They are not there. You are in great trouble. Your business will fall no matter how much you put into it. As a matter of fact, it's not how much you put into the business that makes it work. It is how much time you can give to it. I am here every day. They say your business is thriving, is, is, uh, your business is uh, successful. All the glory comes to me because I'm here all the time, under the sun, under the rain, every day. Even when I'm out of town, my phone is always to my ears asking what is going on. And give So I'm always giving them instructions on what to do, you know. So you must give your time, you must give your energy as a sacrifice to your business. Don't start a catfish farming business if you don't have time to be around. If you don't have time to watch over your business. If you don't have time to supervise your own business, don't start it. Wait until you have time. There is nobody that is trusted enough, forget it. Just have time for your business. So remember, catfish uh, farming will take your time, will take your strength, be willing to give it, and then you have good profit. Always be there in your farm, supervising, you know, bringing ideas, um, you know, innovative ideas and all that. Creativity must be a lot, must be on. As you put sync things into your business, it will help your business a great deal. Don't forget, it is a lucrative business, but you must know certain things and hold on to these things. I'll be with you next time. This is as much as I can. I, I, that is, this is as much as I can take now until another time. Thank you. My name is Greg.